All the watercolors I'm working on right now are, well, are Western landscape movie stills. Uh, this is a still from Breaking Bad. Um, so no matter what movie I'm watching, if I see a Western landscape, I find it, pixelate it, print it, and eventually paint or draw it. As far as I'm aware, nobody has done like pixelated video stills. So it's, it's a fertile territory, both in conceptual and formal histories. So I find it, I do a screen grab on my iPad or iPhone or whatever. Then I print it out into this, um, like, like this. I'm left-handed. So I work um, from the top right and work my way down. I was kind of really interested in this like idea of the sublime image coming from a really stupid movie. I'm also really interested in the fact these paintings need to be reward, like rewarding to look at. In distance, the, the pixels or the, the gridded squares start to look you know, more similar to each other and the images will start to resolve. So it actually doesn't even matter. If I spend time with like a ruler, like making a perfect grid, or if I you know, kind of just freehand it. And, and lately I've been thinking about that even more and manipulating the grid. So um, this painting up here to the left and this painting that I'm working on, I've decided to, to either like push the sky in or pull the sky out to make, to emphasize, you know, the visual characteristics of certain parts of the composition. A really bright scene a lot of the time will kind of become a lot grayer or um, blander, if, that, if that's a word. I think that the pixelization kind of it subtracts information so that each image looks more and more similar to the next.